So what is up guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be talking about how to create bosses in fl studio so for example you can either create a drum boss which is basically all the elements all the drum elements in your mix being routed into one mix you know so from there you can add a collective or a general effect to all the drums you know for example you can add a compressor to glue everything together so in this video we are going to be talking about how to do it so as you can see i colored some tracks in the mixer blue and then the other ones are red so these blue ones are you know the drums in this whole mix now and then the red ones are other elements like the guitar and the fl keys and the e flute so this is what they sound like So this is just something that I created for this tutorial. So what we are going to do now is we are going to choose the number eight and the number nine. So the number eight, you know, mixer tracker, the eight mixer tracker is where we are going to side chain the drums. You know, we are going to create a drum boss. So we are going to change the color, you know, to maybe something like green and then so you can rename it if you want so you can just change the name from here you know you can change the name to like drum boss and then this second one is where we are going to be side chaining the other elements so we are going to change the color to yellow and then we are going to change the name to so in order to route a track into the other track what you're going to do is make sure the track is selected so in this video we're going to first send the number one which is the kick so make sure it is selected then you go to the boss that you want to route it into and then you see this arrow and make sure this one is selected so you see this arrow here and then you right click on it so when you right click on it you see this option so the first one is route to this track so when you choose this option you are going to be routing this one into this boss and it will still be routed into the master channel so as you can see everything here is routed into the master channel so when you do this fl studio will just duplicate the sound so you can use this for a sidechain effect so for example once you right click and then choose route to this track which is the first one as you can see when i play it now so i'll just mute the kick and then play it so as you can see fl studio duplicated the kick now so i have double sound coming from here and then the master so what people use this for is for example a sidechain effect so when you choose the route to this track only what it does is it is going to send this track into this number eight only and then remove it from the master channel so now you have complete control over the kick from this channel so once i play it and i want to unmute it you won't get any sound and if i reduce it now so in order to create a boss what you do is add you know the whole drum element into this one so route the whole drum element into the boss channel so we are going to do the same thing we are going to route the second one route this track only then we are going to do it for the third one and so on and so forth So we are going to route other instruments you know into the instrumental boss so we are going to route the guitar into the instrumental boss the fl keys and the e flute route to this track only route to this track only and route to this track only so as you can see i've routed everything into all these bosses here now so what we are going to do is i'm going to play the whole everything for you and i'm going to unmute the drums and then also unmute the instrument while everything is playing So the reason why we use bosses in music production is very important so for example 
you can add a compression or maybe a filter so maybe i can add a filter to this drum boss now and you can see what is going to do to it So if you've been wondering how to do this, you know, effect, you know, now you know. So you can also add maybe a reverb to your drums, you know, you can delete this filter. You can also add something like a reverb to the instrumental boss. So I already have a reverb here and I exaggerated the effect and this is what it sounds like. So you can do a lot of things with this you can also spice it up and maybe create something like a percussion boss you can create a synth boss you can create a guitar boss you can create a vocal boss you know you can do a lot of things from there maybe you can add distortions to your drums you know you can do a lot of things so just try it and you know it's a very important technique in music that i think every producer should know so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one and